I always try to make things accessible to everyone. Not everyone eats beef, and I have got a beef strong enough on the channel if you wanted to go see that instead. But today we're going to be doing it with chicken. It's easy to make, it's really cheap, it takes less than 30 minutes to put together, and of course, it's absolutely delicious. Let's get straight into it. Starting out, we're going to need one brown or yellow onion. Just slice this in half, then we can remove the skin. Dice it up into small to medium-sized pieces, and make sure you trim off any excess flesh from around the root to avoid any waste. Next, we need six small garlic cloves or four very large ones, which is what I'm using here. Grate them along a microplane just to create a paste and make sure you scrape it all out of there. Then we're going to need 300 grams of Swiss brown mushrooms. These are also known as chestnut. Give these a medium slice. We don't want them too thin. Last but not least, I'm using two chicken breasts. You can also use thigh if you wanted to. I'll leave details about that in the description. But as for these, we're going to butterfly them. So slice them through the center horizontally and then just continue following that cut to open it up like a butterfly and slice this in half through the middle just to create two even sized fillets. Let's then add these into a bowl along with two and a half grams of onion powder, garlic powder and sweet paprika. That's two and a half grams of each. A generous pinch of salt as well as some cracked black pepper. 20 cracks worth and five milliliters of olive oil. Then we can slap on a glove, use some tongs or a spoon, and just mix those seasonings into the chicken. And once that's done, we can then pop this aside for the time being. With that out of the way, place a large pot of water over a high heat, generously season it with salt, and then just bring it to a boil in the background. And whilst that's coming to a boil, we can place another pan, a large pan over a medium high heat, Add in one tablespoon of olive oil, then we're going to add our chicken in, in batches, and just sear this for about three minutes on each side until beautifully golden brown. If it starts to get a little bit too dark, just turn the pan down a little bit. But once you have a beautiful color, just flip these over and repeat that three minute process again. Then once you have that beautiful color all over, we can remove these, place them into a bowl or a plate, and repeat with the other batch. Now into the same pan over a medium high heat, add in two tablespoons, which is 28 grams of unsalted butter. Allow that to melt, then add in the diced onion and the grated garlic. And we can just fry this off or saute for about three to four minutes just to soften this up and get this nice and fragrant. Keep it moving around as well. We don't want it to burn or gain much color. And this process is pretty much called sweating off. Once that's done, we can add in those sliced mushrooms, spread them out a little bit so they're not sitting on top of one another. Hit them up with some salt, which will obviously increase the flavor, but also help extract moisture from the mushrooms, as well as about 15 cracks worth of black pepper. Then we can fry this off for about six minutes just to soften these up, gain a little bit of color and extract that moisture. You can also practice that flick of the wrist in this process if you wanted to as well. But once you have that done, you should have something that looks like this. Next to go in is 30 grams of Dijon mustard. Quickly mix this around, only cook it for about 30 seconds, making sure everything is evenly combined. Then we can deglaze with 80 milliliters of white wine or chicken stock if you can't consume alcohol. We're going to bring this to a boil and cook it for about one minute just to reduce by half. Once that is done, we're then going to add in 24 grams of plain flour. I know it's a bit specific, but it does really work with this amount. Continue mixing around, cook it for another minute just to get that flour taste out. And this will start to clump up a little bit, but that's perfectly fine. To increase the depth and create the sauce, we're going to add in 375 milliliters of chicken stock. This will react with the flour. 30 milliliters of Worcestershire sauce for a nice umami touch. Hit it up with a little bit more salt if you'd like to. Then we can mix this around. The stock's going to react with the flour and thicken this up. We're also going to bring it to a boil, reduce the heat to low, and cook this for about 10 minutes to reduce. In the meantime, we can cook our pasta. I'm using 250 grams of linguine. You can also use pappardelle if you wanted to. Give this a quick mix and then just cook it for one minute less than the packet instructions. Whilst the pasta's cooking, the sauce is reducing. We can slice up our rested chicken. You can do it on an angle like what I'm doing here. You can slice it straight. You can even dice it or leave it whole. It's completely up to you. Then with the sauce after 10 minutes, this is thickened up really nicely. It's a beautiful consistency. What we're then going to do is add in 120 grams of sour cream. This adds that beautiful tang mixed with that Worcestershire sauce. It creates the beautiful combination. Mix this all together and break it up. We're then going to cook this for one minute for those flavors to develop. Add in the sliced chicken or however you've prepared it, along with any of those resting juices for additional flavor. Then gently fold this all through until everything is evenly combined. And you can cook this for one minute or so before turning it off the heat and removing it from the stovetop. I do recommend checking it one last time for seasoning though before you do that. And just remember that the pasta is also salted, so don't go too heavy on it. With the pasta cooked one minute less than the packet instructions, it's been drained. Keep a little bit of the pasta water aside in case you need to adjust the consistency. Add it all in there and then we can gently fold this through. You don't have to serve it all like this. Some people like to put the pasta down first and then the sauce on top. It's completely up to you how you want to prepare this. But then we can stack this up nice and high. This recipe serves about three to four people depending on portion size. Top it off with the mushroom and the chicken mix and that beautiful stroganoff sauce. Garnish it with a little bit of flat leaf parsley for presentation. And there we have our absolutely delicious chicken stroganoff. 
Now there is only one thing left to do, and that is of course we can then dig in. The flavor in this has so much going on. You've got the beautiful umami from the Worcestershire sauce, the sweet tang from that sour cream, and then mixed together with the mushrooms, the juicy chicken, it goes hand in hand together. It's absolutely beautiful. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Really helps me out, helps the channel be seen by more people, and consider subscribing along with hitting the bell notification next to it so you never miss when I upload. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.